Today marked a turning point in my life, one that I fear I may never fully come to terms with. As a Panzer Grenadier of the West Germany Army, I've always taken pride in my hometown roots. Fighting to defend the very streets and fields where I grew up seemed like a noble cause, a chance to utilize my knowledge of the terrain to our advantage. As the packed forces descended upon our homeland, my heart swelled with a sense of determination. We had the home turf advantage, I thought, surely we could hold them back. Yet, as the battle raged on, my optimism quickly turned to horror. The once familiar streets of my hometown were transformed into a battleground, the echoes of gunfire drowning out the memories of happier times. The sight of homes reduced to rubble and fields stained with blood was enough to shake even the strongest of spirits. I never could have imagined the true horrors of war until I witnessed them firsthand. The loss of life, the destruction, the sheer brutality of it all, it's enough to make a man question everything he once believed in. Seeing a T-55 in pictures is something very different from having one of them thunder by your position. At first, it's a rumbling in the distance, a low growl that sends shivers down your spine. But as it draws closer, the ground shakes beneath your feet and the air fills with the deafening roar of its engines. You can feel the heat radiating of its metal hull, smell the acrid stench of diesel fuel mingling with the scent of fear. In that moment, all you can do is pray that your training kicks in and that your comrades by your side are as ready as you are to face the enemy head on. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back. It's episode 4, the NATO version of the campaign. I am desperately trying to keep my units alive as I don't have that many. Right now, I have the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, you might be well familiar with them, and the 152nd Panzer Grenadier Battalion. Some of these guys have taken some serious losses, and that is not a very good start for the Germans. Thankfully, I am getting some reserves. Um, it is like a reservist, well, it's not a reservist group, it's a reconnaissance group. But this reconnaissance battalion is only really packing Leopard 1A1s. Which, like, really, they won't exactly hold a candle to what the East Germans get in the form of those tanks. But when it comes to dealing with infantry, they can be useful, so they are making their way here. As for what the uh, East Germans have, well, it's a lot. Some of it completely, completely healthy. All of these groups are very eager to fight. My 11th ACR, yeah, not that much. Um, these guys are not that well suited for a fight. Now, I am getting some reinforcements in one turn. There's another Panzer going to do battalion, the 142nd. It's going to be coming in in a turn, but by the time it gets to the front line, we'll be two or three turns ahead. There's also a reservist group, like this is utter trash. The only fairly useful unit, I guess, is the M40 with a recordless rifle, but you only get two. So these guys are largely irrelevant. As for what else we're getting, well, it's four turns away. So let's first see if I can survive the next turn. So let's go to the next turn and see what the Germans are going, well, the East Germans are going to do. I have pulled back a little bit from Bad Hirschfeld. I am not interested at all in getting surrounded. So that's why the 11th ACR keeps getting pulled back slightly. Who's attacking me? These guys. Oh, that's a lot of armor. We got some anti air, but not a whole lot. Oh, and they also got the, the trash trellis. Yes, I remember. Okay. I think the 11th ACR is going to need all the help it can get. Let's send in the Air Force. Hopefully, that enemy anti-air battalion is not around. But it's not something I can really rely upon. So, um, they're considering it's likely going to be a defender win. But we'll have to see if that's actually going to be the case. Now, we get this nice wide open map. And considering the way that it's laid out... I see options and I see problems. The nice things about this map, it's wide open. Um, that is good for my tanks. It means my tank can maneuver. The slightly less nice thing about this map is this ridge line. You see, this ridge line can be used to flank me. So if I were to build a defensive line, let's say along here, they can say, well, that's a nice defensive line you got there. Shame if somebody pushed a whole bunch of T-55s right down the side of it. That's a big risk. And you can do the same thing from the other side because it's also just slightly elevated. Um, 
I can try and sit in the forest. But I doubt it'll work. They'll just probably swarm me. And especially considering their... Well, their <laughs> tendency to fling ATGMs like they're cookies. That can deal a lot of damage. Infantry-wise, I have nothing. Um, I can play extremely defensively and just sit here. But I do need to get at least one cap in order not to get wiped off the map. So I guess we're going to have to try and defend Alpha. And um, like a forward defense here is tempting, but I don't think it will work. Because I don't have the units. Yeah, nor do I have the morale to really make that work. Morale is pretty good. 106. I think we started with 70 in the previous battle. So the morale of the battle group is improving. All right, let's get a command unit. Um, if we're able to, let's say, kind of invite them to come through here, that means I might be able to use the buildings here to dash out, deal damage, and pull back. Because as they approach from here, their HGMs are going to be rendered ineffective. If they approach from here, I don't really have that luxury. So that is a bit of a risk. But I think we're going to have to try and make that work. As for the Bradleys, I have a lot of Bradleys. Like there's 12, there's 16, 17. There's a couple scattered among the other groups. Plenty of Bradleys and great HGMs. But, but their HGM range is not that good. It's 26, 25, which is standard NATO range. The problem is the enemy has a range of 2,800 on most of their missiles. So that's not exactly something I would like to try. I know that my Abrams can face tank most missiles, though. So I guess we're building another battle line of Abrams. And seeing if these guys want to come out to party. I'm not going to bring the ACAVs today. At least not yet. Let's bring a scout here and a scout there. That should provide me with some reconnaissance. I get 41 deployment points. Oh, that's a load. Oh, it's probably the additional morale from the Air Force. Yeah, okay. Uh, they also brought their Air Force. So it's going to be a party. And we're probably going to have to use some of these fighters in order to deal with theirs. I can use HE bombers against group concentrations. Um, including against tanks with AT missiles. They're mavericks. They're not great accuracy, but they'll do the jerk. If you're in a pinch. Okay, we're going to have probably two groups of Abrams. So let's say two wings of six. It is possible that they'll try and drive here. Like, they can. But I really hope they don't. Now, as much as I love to zoom in during battles to have a look at the units, because, I mean, the, the units, you don't really see it here. They look gorgeous. But you don't really get the time and the opportunity to appreciate that in the middle of the battle. So unfortunate, but I'm afraid we won't really be able to see that. As for my uh, RD, I'm going to scatter these and put them on counter battery. Ideally being able to eliminate, well, anything really. Uh, whether that will work remains to be seen. Let's launch. Yes, sir. Drop off the scouts. You guys are a group... Group 1. You guys are Group 2. So we got two groups of six Abrams. I completely forgot my logistics. So let's get that sorted quick. Uh, these guys are going to be on counter battery duty. Hotkey number 4. So I can quickly call them in. If required. But I kind of doubt that will be needed. Now there is a problem that I see here. Um, it is possible that they'll start swarming me here. If they do... And I don't have enough Abrams yet. They'll be able to start pushing both here and there at the same time. Giving either side flanking opportunities. So I'm going to start pushing uh, a couple of Abrams into these tree lines. So that if something does decide that it wants to come out and play. They're going to get greeted by a fairly uh, unhealthy reception. <clears throat> here come the concourse. At least some of them. Three so far. More. Four. So, what was I saying about group concentrations? 
Oh, I just don't have the points for it. Okay, everybody's thundering down there. No, not everybody. Good lord. How many units can you buy? Because that's fairly bizarre. Okay. So we've got a massive concentration here and some concentration over there. You guys are going to set up here. Like, set up shop and get down to it. Um, the rest of the Abrams are coming in, but they'll be a while. These Abrams, I'm going to have to babysit. Make sure that we deal with the HGM guys first. So that's you and you and you. No, actually, there's AM2s over there. AM2s are not a threat. The AM2A. The AM2Bs that I should be careful with. And there, over here. All right, run it slow. Roger. Run it slow. And Search and destroy. Because anything that does not throw an HGM is not really a direct risk to an Abrams. Job, Simply because it cannot shoot at me yet. Like, this tank can and will try. But it's going to be hard-pressed to try and get that thing done. Over here, we're going to have to pick targets again. Uh, oh, the AM2s are also firing. So you, 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 and you. Holy shit. Okay, there's a lot of them. We're going to need the Air Force here. I'm probably in a hurry. Let's draw another concourse. That's an AM2. Seems to have slightly more capabilities. You're wounded, fall back. Go link up with the logistics. We got one of these guys bailed out. Yeah, there's more HGMs coming in here. So the AM2B is well out of range. These guys got a range of 2800. I can't touch that. Not yet. Don't show your sight. Whatever you do. Holy shit, there's a lot coming at me here. Get him. Come on. Make an effort. Pull back. Pull back. These guys are spamming HGMs at me again. The Air Force can now be called in. I have either uh, 227 kilogram bombs times 12 or five big ones. I'm thinking of buying both. I got a Shilka over there. So this one's not that interesting. This one is. A couple of big bombs. Might be able to take out the concourse. At least take out the HGMs from the BMPs over there. As for this, I can't really hunt that. Except for with one of those F4s. The AT variants. So you're going to uh, just uh, generally bomb there. You guys are doing a good job. Keep that up. Take out the next BMP, please. Don't worry about the infantry. If they want to walk... Well, they're going to have a very long walk ahead of them. Kill. You're badly wounded. Fall back. I'm surprised that I have not seen any of their artillery. Yet. Oh, somebody doesn't count your battery. Yep. Apologies for running the battle so slowly. And I was going to take forever at this rate. But I would much rather have my tanks alive than needlessly waste them here. Bomb this. A lot of infantry. Do not let the tanks get distracted. Oh, you're already depleted. Yeah, here it comes. Boom. Good work. Get back. If you can, smoke yourself up and fall back. Enemy plane? Yes, enemy plane inbound. You're gonna leave? Before that guy gets here, we'll be long gone. Okay, everybody smoke up now. And fall back. Stop. Stop. I do have these Abrams. 
they're going to have to try and take up some of the slack here. Okay. So far, I have not yet lost a single unit. Long may that continue. Long may that continue. Wide formation. Start wrecking things. Pretty please. These things can face tank a missile, at least for a short period of time. Kill. Come on. Yep. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Uh, I got another HEI bomber. And I want to take up these concours with it. Right hand side is okay. These guys need to get a logy on them. You. Get in there. Just generally carpet bomb that. You're going to fall back. You're going to attack. You guys are full health. I'm not sure why you're withdrawing. Makes no sense. You're empty. You're full health. Start getting some additional logy in here. Hemets. They're nice and full. This right hand side seems to have largely lost its punch. Which is excellent. This Abrams has even been resupplied and repaired. Perfect. Kill. This is not great. Slow back or slowly, slowly reverse a bit. Here comes the bomber. Yep. Same location still. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah, just strafe the non-existent position. Doesn't matter. AM2B on the far right hand side. Got one. Got some infantry with it. Oh! Can you maybe not wreck my supply units? That'd be lovely, thanks. Kill that concourse. That thing flew too close to the sun. Uh, just evacuate this way. I am not really interested in any additional units coming down the middle. I don't need that. I really don't. Kill it. Not the Strela. Really don't care about the Strela. It's these things that need to uh, take a round to the face. Yeah, that conquers as well. Oh, an AM2. Kill. Get that. Oh, Jesus. They're taking a very dangerous route here. Very dangerous. I need to fix up these. And forgot about that. Get it. So far, they've lost a ton of units. I am all for it. Reverse there. Get some logistics. Oh, you're getting counter battery. Really rude. Don't care about the infantry. Care about the transport. Far bigger priority. Don't. For a second, I thought that was going to get a side shot on me. Yeah, I still got all of my original Abrams. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's the counter battery. Still haven't lost a unit. Motor shoots and really have no place being here. Absolutely out of position. Give me another th uh, three Abrams. This thing's empty. Yes, Captain. <clears throat> Already called the new ones, right? No. Surprising. Okay. Be careful. Enemies near Motor shoots and gone. What are You're full health. Answer? You're not. Reverse. You guys are just outside of resupply. Damn it! They keep killing off my logistics units. Red six. Mount it up. Fall back. Go. Get that tank. Damn it, that artillery. That's that artillery unit? 
Holy shit, you got some balls on you. What the hell? Why are you here? This close to the front. No, don't waste your ammo on that. Kill that. Kill that. Fuel explosion, that should be gone. Kill that, you're gonna fall back. Get rid of these concours. All of them. It's always a case of, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Look at these. Not you. Are you still not repaired? Curious. Alright. Third Abrams group. Let's make a move. I also want to get an ACAV in that group, and I might as well make it a command tank with it. Stop. Wait for your friends. Yeah, it's just one big tank column. Please kill that artillery unit. Thank you. That arty, seriously. So far, so good. Kill. Kill. I'm a bit concerned about my units over on this side because I'm having a fairly difficult time keeping them safe from Artie. And especially keeping my resupply units safe from Artie. And that does worry me some. Get more. Yeah, see, there's more incoming. Against my um, kind of already weakened side. You guys are going to help out here. You guys are going to basically hunt. Well hear about it if there's something coming my way. Um, yeah, we're going to hit these guys with a big HE bomber. Relatively big. And then we're going to push on them. Unless my tanks can already get free shots at them, in which case I will take those. Happily. And instead we're going to bomb the BMPs. I also want these guys to get an ACAV. Yeah, we're just getting free kills here. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go. Hammett, get that stuff resupplied and repaired. It's time to push. Not you, though. We're going to wipe this whole battle group off the damn map. Anything that shoots you, shoot it first. There we go. Got a little touch and go there at times, but I feel like I have this map under control now. Hello. More health to 20%. Kill. Start counter capping this. Bring your scouts. ACAV's gonna join this group. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Formation wide. What do you need, Captain? There, counter capping. Need to get another 23 points. That's group one. Kill. Kill. Hello. What are we hunting here? Look, you're not getting these, friend. You are not. Really? We cannot stay here for a second? Origin. Somewhere over there? And somewhere over here. Oh yeah. Okay. Second group, alive. <laughs> but not, not optimistically so. Hello, command tank! What are you doing on the front line? Shame, shame, shame. Hold here. Oh, let me guess. They're up on the dip? Or on the, the ledge? I can't see them. Oh! No, I'm not losing a plane. Or I'm not losing a unit right now. Absolutely not. Give me the Air Force. Piss off. Piss off. I'm sure if these guys are all sporting the same missiles. I'm not that well versed in red planes. Hello. There's a CV somewhere over there. 
And he kills 16 points. No matter what you kill, just go hunt something. Oh, he almost got it. He almost got it. Fall back. I'm micromanaging a bit too much at the moment. Get out. What the hell? Counterattack. Don't lose a plane. Ah, oh, damn it. I almost had a perfect victory there. Go get this guy. There's mortars? Oh, hello. Gone. Stay with that group. Do not get isolated. Leave. Need to get five points. Mortar's a fair target. Rocket pod plane evacuating. Tank. Tank's what, two points? Come on, yes. There's some shit over there. What is that? Oh, more tanks. Why am I even surprised at this point? So, lesson learned. Just be patient. Sometimes just be patient and let the enemy push into you. Holy shit, you're alive? Means my resupply vehicle isn't gonna be. Oh, don't fuck it up now, stealth. Get a kill. Any kill. Shit, they did get the Hammond. That is not good. It doesn't cost me a point, but a resupply vehicle, I feel, is very, very valuable. And that was completely unnecessary. Nevertheless, the rest of the battle went well. Very well. Total victory. I lost four points. Which comes down to what? One plane? Look at these Abrams doing work. Isn't that glorious? Yeah, I lost one plane. One air uh, fighter. Very good. Very good. I like this outcome. <laughs> the whole group got removed. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Okay, they're making some headway into my territory. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. Um, I'm not a fan. That's, well, like, what are we facing, really? A couple of tanks? What do I have? Not a whole lot of tanks. I do have some Jaeger. I got a lot of tanks. But they're all 1A1s. With 17 AP. How much armor you guys get? 14. Okay. So we're just going to have to outnumber them. Alright, we'll do that some other battle. A recon group against the tank group. What could possibly go wrong? Well, total victory so far. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. And if you haven't liked the video, please do so. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon for more.